In the last tutorial, we learned how to develop a marcher graph on given and incompletely specified machine. And uh, we also learned how to find out the compatible pairs. Now we will be developing a compatibility graph using the marcher graph in order to reduce the incompletely specified machine. Uh, for that, what we need to do is to use uh, is to develop the marcher graph first. Now, in this example, we have this incompletely specified machine given here. Uh, you can find this present state as well as the transitions on and output on the inputs i1, i2, i3, and i4. And I have already developed the marcher graph for this machine. If you do not know how to develop the marcher graph on given the incompletely specified machine, you can go through the tutorial uh, where I. Uh, have given uh, the idea how to develop this marcher graph. Now, in this marcher graph, what we find ultimately is that these are the compatible pairs AC, AD, BC, B, C, D, and D. Now, using this marcher graph, what we need to do develop is a compatibility graph in order to reduce the machine. Now, a compatibility graph is a graph, is a directed graph actually. If for a marcher graph, you have this kind of situation there are two vertices si and sj and they are having an interrupted arc between them say they are having interrupted arc between them and that interrupted arc say it contains s p and s q as the implied pair that means SI and SJ is compatible in marcher graph if SP and SQ are compatible. Now this thing is represented in compatibility graph. This is the marcher graph. Now in compatibility graph what we are going to have each vertex of the compatibility graph will have the pair of compatible, compatible states and they are going to have a directed arc to the implied pair I'm sorry so if SP SQ is the implied pair so it's going to have SI SJ is going to have a, di and a directed a directed arc to SP SQ so this is the compatibility graph for the above marginal graph this marginal graph this is the compatibility graph So again, SI and SJ is compatible if SP and SQ are compatible. SP, SQ, this is called the implied pair. This is the SI, SJ is the compatible pair if the implied pair is also comp compatible. Now, in case of compatibility graph, what we need to do is to write SI and SJ as a vertex here and that pair SP and SJ. So this is how we develop the compatibility graph. Now for the above given machine, say for this machine, we are about to develop the compatibility graph. So here is how we could we can develop a compatibility graph on given the marginal graph. So this was our marginal graph uh, and we are about to develop the compatibility graph using this marginal graph. So we are going to develop the compatibility graph on the given marginal graph. We have already developed this marcher graph on the given example and we see that AC, AD, BC, BE, CD and DE these are the compatible pairs for this marcher graph and for this machine and each of this compatible pair is a vertex in the compatibility graph so AC, AD, BC, DE, CD, BE there are six vertices in the compatibility graph now since AC is a compatible pair without any interruption it doesn't have any implied pair so no outgoing arc emerges from AC now what about AD we see that AD has an implied pair that is BE so AD should have an outgoing arc towards BE now for BE what we see is that there is an implied pair BC so BE arrow BC should be there BE arrow BC should be there Now what we see for AD is that AD has an implied pair BE what we did uh, AD and BC. Okay, that's done. AD arrow B is done. Now between BC and BD what we see is that BC and BD. BD between BD what we see that BD is not compatible pair. Uh, okay, uh, between BT and AD what we see that AD implies BD is okay and b 
BC. So BC has an implied pair AD. So BC arrow AD will be there. Okay. Now again, what we see is that DE DE has an implied pair BC. So DE arrow BC should be there. Again, what you see that CD arrow DE is there. So CD arrow DE is an R because CD has an implied pair D. So this is the compatibility graph of this one uh, against the machine given. And what we did first, we developed the merger graph. And from merger graph, we developed from merger graph, we developed the compatibility graph on observing the compatible uh, pairs along with their implied pairs. Now we need to understand the closed subgraph of this compatibility graph. Now what is a closed subgraph is that a set of compatibles for any machine is said to be closed if for every compatible contained in the set all its implied compatibles are also contained in that set. The simple is thing is that if we take say PE then BE has an outgoing arc to BC that means BC is the implied pair for BE so we need to take BC along with this set again BC has one implied pair that is AD so AD has to be taken in the same set so this is a set of closed compatible where the compatible pairs along with their implied pairs are taken in the same set so again we can find some more closed compatibles it is the subgraph of the compatibility graph so this is also closed say we are taking ac since ac doesn't have any implied pair it's okay we need not to take anything else and we can take ad we can take be we can take bc so this is also a closed compatible again what you see is that we can take cd we can take de because d is the implied pair of cd Again, we can take, we should take BC, then we should take AD, then we should take BE, and again comes the BC. So this is again a closed compatible. So set of closed compatible is, is all is a subgraph with all those compatible pairs along with their implied pairs. Now we can find many closed compatibles. Now amongst these closed compatibles, it's a covering. It's a it's a it's a covering. A closed covering set if all the vertices are of the machine is included in the closed subgraph now here we can see that what we see for the first set it's a closed set there are six vertices a b c d e i'm sorry there are five vertices a b c d e now if a closed subgraph of the compatibility graph contains all the vertices of the machine then particular then that particular closed subgraph is called closed covering. Now here we see that A is included, B is included, C is included, D is included, E is included. So this is a closed covering. Now again this is also closed covering. This is also closed covering because all the states are included. A included, B included, C included, D included, E included. This is also closed covering. All these three are closed covering because all the states are included. Now. If we consider only AC, this is closed compatible, but this is not covering because it is not covering all the states of the machine. Now, if we take this DE and BC and AD and BE, then again it's a closed covering. Now, amongst this closed covering, the minimal closed covering is that set which contains the minimal number of compatibles. So, amongst these three, this is the minimal number of compatibles. Minimal closed covering is that set that contains the minimum number of compatibles. So we find minimum closed covering as this one BE, BC, AD. BE. B, E, B, C, A, D. This is a minimal close covering. So it may happen that we may find two minimum close covering with same number of compatibles in the set. Uh, 
so so what we find is the minimal close covering now we can develop the minimal machine using this minimal close covering now these are the states for the minimal machine for this for the given example so we now use this minimal close covering in order to build the minimal machine now we use this minimal close covering in order to build the minimized machine a reduced machine so each of these minimal close each of these elements of minimal close covering is considered as a state in the machine so ad this is compatible pair is considered one state bc is another and b is another so the five state machine is reduced to three state machine we consider ad as alpha bc as beta and be as gamma now we need to develop the state transition and the output for this machine now just do this a d for a d it is not specified it is not specified it's not specified this is also not specified this is also not specified so here it is not specified not specified for i1 for ad for i2 input it is not specified it is e and it is not specified it is one so just e and one now where this e belongs to now this e belongs to this set gamma so what you should write here instead of e write gamma because e belongs to gamma we have given new name so what i am writing gamma here now for i3 ad is it's be and one not specified so it could be considered as one so be be means it's gamma again now be means gamma so it's gamma and the output is one i3 for i4 ad contains not specified not specified all are not specified so it's not specified not specified now again for bc what we get for i1 bc is c now c is contained in bc so it is beta and then the output is zero because here for both the cases the output is zero now for i2 it is ad ad is alpha so it is alpha and both the cases output is one now for i3 it is zero and not specified so we can consider the output as zero and it is b now the fact is that b is contained in either of the two sets beta and gamma beta also contains b as well as gamma contains b so you should write in this way beta or gamma because either of these two are correct now all such cases will be writing in this way now for i4 what we are getting here is a0 because this is not specified so we can write a and 0 for gamma that means of be be it is bc and 0 so bc means beta and 0 for i2 it is a and 1 a means it's contained in alpha and 1 now for i3, i3 it is b contains b c that means beta and 0. i3 is beta and 0. b c is beta. And now for i4, it's b and 0. b contains in beta and gamma. b contains in beta and gamma. So what we are doing here again, beta and gamma and it's 0. So this is the minimized a reduced machine against this given example so what we did first what we did uh, first we developed a merger graph that's the fastest step you should do you can do it by using merger table as well then find out the compatible pairs then develop the compatibility graph then from compatibility graph find out the minimal close covering now there could be more than one minimal close covering now use one either one of them in order to build the reduced machine each of the compatible pairs in the minimal close covering is a state in the reduced machine so i hope that this is understandable so now we can develop uh, a reduced machine against an incompletely given incompletely uh, specified machine i hope that you understand this well thank you very much for watching this video